Hello YouTube, Uncle Lucky here again, and welcome to another episode of Comic Book Quiz and Art. Today we're going to do a special episode because another YouTube crew, Kat and Paul, on Comic Trips, have an amazing channel that I just discovered recently, and I've been really wrapped up in it. I guess you could say that uh, it's YouTube binge watching. Um, they've got a great show, it's called Comic Trips. The two of them jump in their car and they go riding around and they find a whole bunch of different comic books and toys and memorabilia, so we're going to try and get them some more subscribers today. At the time of filming this, they're at 907. They're trying to reach a goal of 1,000 and they're going to do something special for their fans when they reach it. So, if I can get a couple of my subscribers to go over there and click that like button and subscribe to them, we'll get them a little bit closer to 1,000. So my wife and I went, ended up going to the uh, antique shops. Now, depending on what region you live in, I'm not exactly sure how this works. An antique shop in this part of the country is more like a junk shop. It has very few real antiques in it, but you can find a whole bunch of off-the-wall things, collectibles, and, and stuff like that. So through our little adventure, we actually ran into an area in one of these little shops that had a bunch of old comic books. The thing is, the older ladies that were running the shop, I don't quite think they knew much about comic books, which was the funniest part, because just the way that the comics were wrapped up and, and put together was kind of comical. Um, but in finding this stuff, I found interesting ones like this is an older 1980s version Dr. Fate. I kind of like Dr. Fate, but uh, Dark Side's on the front cover. That was what drew, drew me to it. It's really, really cool comic book. Kinda? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't read a whole bunch of Dr. Fate from this time, but he's got a kind of a creepy thing going on with his stepmother. Don't get that at all. Next is Phantom Stranger. Again, all these that I found were 1980s. I think this one was 1987. Yeah, 87. They had the series going on. I picked all these up for a dollar a piece. Um, those were really cool. Again, I after reading the older ones, you know, I'm trying to find different things that I could be into. Uh, don't know if I'll get into those though. Dead Man though is a really cool character. Um, Anybody who knows anything about Dead Man more recently knows that he is uh, part of the uh, Justice League Dark series. And when they finally do make the Justice League Dark movie, he'll be one of the characters in it. So that was another good one from the 80s. But here was the biggest find of the day. Because we do have the Suicide Squad movie getting ready to come out here pretty soon, this, the comic book is not in great shape, I will admit. It's got some dents, dings, bruises, some scraping, some damage, a little bit here and a little bit there, but, you know, you can't always grab something up for, it's just not always about collecting, thinking that you're going to make a million dollars off of it. It's the fact that this is a comic book from 1987, and it's Suicide Squad number two. So, I bought it for a dollar. Not in the best condition, but, you know, it was a dollar. So, that's that's pretty awesome. I really like that. Next up, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a big Doctor Strange fan. You can't find a bunch of these toys around. Doctor Strange has got his own movie coming out next year. And, funny enough, I don't see a whole bunch of Doctor Strange toys and, and merch out yet. I don't know why they're not pumping it as much as they can with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch playing the lead. He's hot right now. But I did find this and had to snatch it up as quick as possible because thankfully when I found it, it was the last one on the shelf, so that is super cool. Then, now, I'll be honest, I am not a huge, huge, massive, crazy Star Wars buff. I really am not. I like a lot of key characters. I love the original three movies. Um, the other three movies we don't talk about in my house. So, I'm kind of getting into it. It's a weird story because 
through most of my childhood, me and my brother always had this weird yin-yang thing going on. Anytime we got toys for Christmas, I'd always get all the bad guys, and he would get all the good guys. Really weird, and I don't know how it always ended up that way, but He-Man, I had all the bad guys. G.I. Joe, I had all the bad guys. Star Wars was no exception. I always had all the bad guys. So, we got the new series that has come out, and I had to snatch a couple of these up. Looking really slick. Um, don't know anything about this character because they haven't released any information on anything yet. Which is ironic because this movie's coming out in 32 days? 30 days? Something like that? And then, uh, this is Kylo Ren. Again, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Spoiler, because I can see into the future. This is like... Han Solo's son or something. That's what I'm thinking. He's He's been seduced. But those are really cool. And lastly, the big, big dog on my list. I finally got to pick this up. This thing is amazing. <laughs> now, anybody also that knows me knows that one of my favorite artists of all time being the amazing Jim Lee. He is the big dog at DC right now. And this came out. Look at that. Black and white. Just phenomenal looking. It's really cool. The box is a really for the price that I paid for this, the box is, it's good. It's its set up really well. The box is sturdy, but yet you can show it off anytime you want just by opening up. It's magnetized. So, it's, uh, we were trying to figure it out if the number on the bottom of this was the collector number, if it was a limited run or not, but I don't know. We, uh, Looks like 0015 of what I don't know. It doesn't really specify, but it's a good it's a good looking piece. So I know this episode was kind of at a at a character. I don't typically do a whole bunch with toys and things like that, but again, this was kind of a dedication to uh, comic trips. It's a really good show. I think they're on like episode 27 or 28 right now at the time of filming this. Go check out their channel, guys. Really good show. It is entertaining from beginning to end. The two of these two just crack me up, and I've been binge watching it all over the place, at work, at home, everywhere. It's a good show. Let's get those guys to a thousand uh, subs so they can, you know, get over their milestone and have a big party, and they'll uh, they'll treat all their fans really. Uh, they got a whole bunch of things that they're planning when they do hit that thousand mark. So this has been lucky, and you guys have a good one. Shut up and sit down.